A massive ransomware attack crippled hundreds of companies this holiday weekend. Businesses in 17 countries were impacted. And News Nation's Michael Shore has the latest tonight. Another massive ransomware attack, this one again linked to the Russia affiliated Revel Group and directed at Florida software provider Kaseya. President Biden morning. saying he's been briefed. It appears to have caused minimal damage to U.S. businesses. But it has hit businesses worldwide, from a Swedish supermarket chain to a New Zealand kindergarten. We're now seeing the same ransomware group um, doing similar attacks on businesses that typically haven't been targets. When we see something that attacks and hits home for us, you know, how we do business, where we get food, where we shop, it becomes much more personal. Kate Keene, senior vice president at tech areas. security company V Armor, says what is notable is how much worse this could have been. This attack actually had the um, propensity or the bones to be, I think, the largest attack of the year. A fact not Around lost on Kaseya CEO Fred Vacola saying in a video to customers that his software is used by huge numbers of managed service providers or MSPs. The Kaseya MSPs? manage approximately 800,000 to a million small businesses around the world. Kaseya saying they were immediately forced to halt their core virtual system administrator. Within an hour of the first indication of a potential issue, we shut down VSA. Federal entities mobilizing quickly from Homeland Security to a Biden administration task force. I think it really shows and demonstrates a, a new, more proactive response from government. The president not hinting whether a proactive response will be joined by action while at a July 4th outing this weekend in Michigan. And if it is uh, either with the knowledge of and or a consequence of Russia, then I told Putin we will respond. Marnie, late today on the Kaseya website, they were posting that this should be remediated for their clients within the next 24 hours or less. Important to point out, $70 million was the ransom ask. And also, investigators saying that this is not related to a Republican National Committee, the RNC, uh, another hack to one of their third-party service providers. So a lot of ransomware, a lot of hacking, and, and we're covering all of it. Marnie. Yet another attack exposing vulnerabilities. Michael Schur live tonight. Michael, thank you. Yep.